have new love coming with Ace of Cups here. Honestly, that doesn't look like new love to me. I feel this is a renewal in love. Someone's coming in towards you. They want a brand new beginning in love. This is new beginnings. This is someone wanting to open up emotionally to you, wanting to be vulnerable. Okay, this is definitely someone you had an ending with. Okay, something really ended badly between you guys. They're coming in to revive the connection. This is a connection that you thought it was over, okay? Maybe it was, but they're coming back with that love offer, okay? They're coming in and they want to stop from scratch. That's a love offer, guys. That's someone who's ready to open up to you, be vulnerable to you this time. I'm getting you were the one who walked away. You felt backstabbed and betrayed by this person. But they're coming back. They want to get this relationship back from the brink of, like, getting things back from the dead. I'm getting a resurrection, recovery from something that means. Okay, see? The wheel is turning in your favor, guys. There's something that's going to happen in your favor. Luck is on your side. The universe is going to get your back for sure, okay? Because we have a wish come true for you. This person could be your wish fulfillment. This is something that you always wanted, okay? And I think you almost lost all hope. You were disappointed. And you were ready to walk away. You already did walk away. You felt like the victim here. But you definitely felt cheated by this person, okay? A lot of stress, anxiety around the situation. But I guess you're not expecting this new beginning with this person. But yeah, things are going to be in your favor sooner than you think it is. The will's going to be in your favor whether you want to hop on or not, okay? It's going to start turning in your side. A lot of... Positive changes. Okay, I wouldn't say positive. The wheel of fortune is changes, right? Unexpected changes that are coming your way. You just got to be prepared for it, okay? Now, whether this is a positive change or not, it's in the upright. So, yes, I wouldn't say positive change. I would say something that's going to, where you're literally going to think that, okay, yeah, now something's happening my way, okay? Like, literally, the destiny is working in your favor, okay? So, that's what's happening. And whatever's coming in, right, it's going to make you very 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 happy because there is someone who's wanting to communicate with you okay this is brand new communication page of cups ace of uh, page of wands ace of cups this is telling me that someone again is ready to open up to you okay this person could have been someone very closed off someone who had issues opening up to you all right this person could have been uh someone you know who you had once thought there was a lot of potential with this person okay but they were just not ready to um put in the same effort probably okay and you could have given them a lot of chances okay because we have the 10 here which is like you could have gone like an entire gone through like an entire cycle with this person and that's when things ended when it was just Either there were negative changes happening or you were just not being able to keep up with those unexpected shocks that were coming into your life, okay? Like things were probably like you were jumping into one frying pan to another. But yeah, after you ended things, it's not over. It's coming in. They're coming in. They could be slow, but they're coming in. You're probably not seeing this coming, but they are. There is brand new communication coming in. This person is going to think of having a different approach towards you this time, okay? The page of wands is a very light-hearted energy, someone who likes to keep it very casual, okay? But yeah, this is a lot of passion here. Someone who's very enthusiastic about you. Wanting to try something in a new perspective, wanting to try something in a new way. But yeah, this is good news. Definitely good news. And whatever the good news is, it's going to be like, yay, my wish is fulfilled. Finally, the universe is giving it to me. But before they give it to you, right, you're going to, if you haven't ended things, there is going to be an ending here, okay? Something's going to end badly. But yeah, whatever is going to happen, it's going to happen only after the ending. So if, um, if you think it's over, it's not. They're coming back for a second chance with you. And this time, they're coming in correctly. They're opening up emotionally. They're going to tell you how they really feel. Well, see, like I said, right? You're starting a new cycle with this person. You've learned your lessons. They've learned their lessons is what I'm getting more. I'm getting more of like they've learned their lessons. You've learned your lessons. You're both ready to start a new cycle. I'm not really getting like there is a karmic cycle that's over between you guys. There's this like cycle, basically or a chapter which is over between you guys. It's got to be up to you, Virgo, whether you want to stop this or not, okay? Because you have the sun here. You have clarity coming in. This is such a beautiful card. I'm in awe. Like, I love this card. Look at the yellow. The pink. The blue. Look at her. She's looking so pretty. Wow, Virgo. I can literally picture you as like, like, like this. Like, you know what, Virgo? I feel... 
I feel this is all going to come in for you. And it's going to make you so happy. But at the same time, I'm feeling something that's going to set you free. The truth is going to set you free. You know what happens sometimes? You know, I'm going a little off track. But sometimes we desperately wait for something to come into our lives or a person to come into our lives. Could be a job, a career, something that's, you know, like our literal wish fulfillment. We're so codependent on that person or on that wish fulfillment, right? That we stop living our lives. We reach a point where we completely give up on that because we stress ourselves out so much. We overkill ourselves thinking about it over and over again, overthinking, overanalyzing. And the moment we stop overanalyzing, overthinking, the moment we start to walk away, like, you know what, let's screw it. I don't give a shit whether that happens or not. It comes in, which is exactly happening here. Okay, It's going to make you very happy. But I'm also getting with the sun here. There's something that's going to set you free. It's like, you know what, when it comes in, it's going to... You're not going to be in that state of anxiety. You're not going to be in that state of anxiety. You know, you're going to be like, yeah, okay. I, I, I always wanted this. I get it, but I don't know. I have a feeling you're probably going to be into minds, but let's see. Tell me more. What can Virgo expect in their love life? Three of Pentacles. See, this person wants to work with you. They're ready to build with you. They're ready to put in their effort. Uh, this is someone who's wanting to commit to you. Commitment, not as in like that commitment, commitment, but yeah, definitely someone who's ready to build with you, okay? This is the card of let's build, let's talk about this, okay? How can we work on this together? I'm ready to be with you. We're on the same page, etc. okay? This person could be someone who's definitely spying on you, stalking on you. You know, they have a lot of ideas. They have a lot of um, communication that they want to do, okay? But they've been watching you from a distance. They've been spying on you. They've been watching you, you know, in the Ten of Swords out here, right? Yes, it is an ending, okay? But out here, the card is shown so beautiful. It's literally like those those birds, right? They're leading her away from any kind of misery, you know? And she's she looks okay with it. I'm not saying happy, but she looks okay with it. It's like this person is literally watching you, doing a lot of research. Are you okay without me? I mean, this person looks a little worried. Are you okay without me? You know, they're more like, you know what? It's time for me to come and get the ball rolling before Virgo completely walks out. But they're definitely trying to get a lot of information about you. They're doing a lot of research, spying, stalking, watching you. They're going to communicate with you, okay, because we already have the page of wands here. So it, it may take some time because they're in that research mode right now, probably wanting, with, like, uh, which is the best approach to make towards you now that things have ended so badly, right? They need to come in with a proper move towards you, right, before you show them the door. Any more about Mugo? Mugo is stuck in love. See, you're maintaining your cool. You're being cool, calm, collected. That's exactly what I was getting. Virgo, you've reached a point in your life right now. That's what I'm picking up, right? Like when, the, when this person comes in, I don't see you more like, yay, excitement kind of thing. Yes, it is the Nine of Cups, but Nine of Cups does not mean that, you know, it's a wish fulfillment. But I don't see you as like, like oh my God, you're back. Maybe you are. But I'm getting for some of you, when this person comes in, you're going to be, you're going to have that very balanced energy. You're going to have that very moderate energy. You're going to be in that cool, calm, collected energy. Like, all right. It's literally like you've given something a lot of time and you have told yourself that what is in my control, I'm ready to take responsibility for it, which is walking away because walking away is in your control, right? Walking away from something that is not making you happy or walking away from a betrayal or walking away from something that's causing you so much pain and hurt and hurting you badly. That's in your hands and you took responsibility for it and you walked away. This person coming back to you, the person who betrayed you or the person who you had an ending with, right? It's not in your hands to bring them back. They will come back if they're destined to come back, right? You're exercising self-control and you realize that what is not in your hands, you're ready to let it go. You're ready to let it flow. That's that's why the difference. That's what it's saying. You're wanting to stay away from any kind of drama and chaos that's coming into your life. Look at that. Emotional fulfillment, ten of cups. That's commitment. That's emotional bondage. That's emotional happiness. That's a happily ever after card. Give me one card, please. Give me one more card for Virgo, please. Give me one more card for Virgo, please. This is a reconciliation also with the temperance. This person has healed. They're ready to come in. They've healed. They're ready to come in. So, nine of wands. What did I say? You're on guard. Virgo, when this person comes in, you're, you, you have trust issues from this person, okay? I feel like 
there is someone here who's wanting to move forward with you okay they want success okay they're very confident okay they want to move forward with you that's a lot of self confidence wanting to take things to the next level if you wanted some kind of public recognition they're ready to give it to you but they have their eyes on you they have their eyes on you look at this six of cups two of cups tower you could have given this person the silent treatment you know but i feel like you were trusting your instinct you were trusting your gut and you already knew what you were doing is the right thing i'm not saying that you had an instinct that they were coming back but i feel more like you were trusting your intuition you knew you were doing the right thing by walking away with the tower the two of cups and the six of wands what do you want me to say this is a huge epiphany a huge realization on their part Once you walked away, they were coming in to rebuild the foundation. Your relationship could have been on a very rocky foundation, okay, or it could have been on some, on not a very concrete foundation, very crooked foundation, and that's why there was this tower moment, okay. There was a shake up, a break up between you guys, a huge shake up in the foundation. This shake up was in order for you guys to come back together in the right way with the two of cups here. So this is mutual love. This is mutual energy, okay. This is someone who's like, yeah, I'm going towards my Virgo. I want them back. I'll give them everything that they ever need. Okay, but the only problem here that I see is with the nine of wands. You're right. You're the one who's going to be very defensive. It's like, look, we've tried it a lot of times. Okay, how different is it? How do I know that it's not going to be any different from the way it lasted the last time, from the way it ended the last time? I and mean, that's what I'm getting with the nine of wands. You look how guarded she is. So I'm like, yeah, I see you coming towards me, right? Are you going to hurt me? Is it going to be the same shit like last time? Is it going to be the same shit different day? Am I still going to be? I mean, am I still? Am, am I going to be backstabbed and betrayed again? Should I put my trust in you? I, I mean, it doesn't look like you want to let your guards down. I mean, it's all coming in, but doesn't look like you want to let your guards down. They're going to have to do a lot of work, which again they're ready to do with the three of pentacles, with the the wheel of fortune. I mean, the the page of swords. A lot of research, okay. A lot of thinking, investigating. A lot of ideas, you know, like how do I approach you, okay? And I think with the temperance here, they've taken their time to heal, but it's you. I don't know how open you're going to be to this person. Did I say that in the starting that I don't know how easily you're going to take them back? But they're coming in. They're coming in, Virgo. Let's see. What is the likely outcome? What is the likely outcome? Give me the likely outcome. For Virgo and the person they are dealing with, please give me the likely outcome for Virgo and the person they are dealing with. What is the likely outcome? What is the likely outcome? <laughs> yep, six of wands, two of wands. So it looks to me that yes, this person wants to move forward with you, right? Six of Wands. Yeah, we already spoke about that, right? This card just wanted to come out. It was at the bottom of the deck. It was at the back of the deck, but it wanted to make its way out, which is telling me that there is someone here who's hell bent on moving forward with you. Okay, they want to make shit happen with you. They're very confident about this, you know. They're ready to put in the work, etc. But you, my friend, like I said before, you, I don't think it's going to be an easy decision for you. This is the Two of Wands here. This is where you're going to hold back a decision. It's like you know what? Yes, I got all I want. All what I want. Go back, rewind the video, and see what I said. You have everything that you need that you always wanted, but you're going to be in your head. You're going to have to make a decision. Do I still want this or not? It's literally. I literally feel like it's going to be a very detached decision. You know that you have to make. I mean, you're half and half out for sure. I don't see you as someone completely out of this. You are contemplating this. You're quite invested yet. But it's just that you know what? Maybe it's taken some time before this person came back, and probably you're already okay on your own. You know, the Nine of Cups doesn't always have to mean a wish fulfillment. It is, but the Nine of Cups also means that there's someone here who's okay on their own, who's happy on their own, who doesn't have any kind of dependence on another person's coming or going. You know, a lot of smug energy, but I like that. I like that. It's good to be happy, right? Learn to be happy on your own, because then when you're in a relationship, you're going to be happy. That's the foundation, is what I say. If you're happy when you're single, you're gonna happy be happy when you're in a relationship. If you're always gonna be dependent on another person on a in a relationship or dependent on someone else to make you happy, you're not gonna be happy even if you are with the person that makes you happy or even if this person is your wish fulfillment. Okay, a little off track, but just keep putting it out there. You're guarded because with the nine of wands and two of wands, right? You're you're gonna have to make a decision, bro. When this person comes back, they want to come towards you. They're moving forward for sure. They're coming your way. 
It's going to be your choice, Virgo, whether you want them or not, whether you want to let your guards down, whether you want to trust this person again, whatever. You're not wanting to be vulnerable right now because you're like, you know what, I've had it. I mean, this has been a long coming, right? I'm almost getting like, why now? More than anything, I'm like, I'm okay on my own, you know? I think you're going to question yourself. Is this really what I still want? Because you doubt this person's intentions, of course, because of the way things ended before. But all right, Virgo, it's going to be up to you, all right, guys? I hope this reading resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.